Hello friends, this video on NEAT Human Health and Diseases is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we all know that microorganisms can be our friend, they can also be our foe. Like they can be useful to us at the same time, some of them can also be harmful to us. Now here we are going to talk about the nitrogen fixers, those microorganisms which help to fix the atmospheric nitrogen into the soil. And by doing that, they help us in a great way. How? Because nitrogen is a macronutrient for the plant's growth. Now, when the, now the plants do not have the ability to directly utilize the atmospheric nitrogen. So, they want somebody to fix that atmospheric nitrogen in the form which can be utilized by the plants into the soil. So, this job is done by certain microorganisms. So, these microorganisms which fixes atmospheric nitrogen into the soil are called nitrogen fixers. So, in this section, we are going to talk about various types of nitrogen fixers like free living nitrogen fixing bacteria those bacteria which can live independently without depending on other organism at the same time they fix nitrogen they are called free living nitrogen fixing bacteria we will talk about free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria cyanobacteria is basically blue green algae so they are photosynthetic so that's their speciality they can prepare their own food so we will talk about free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria we will also talk about symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria so what is symbiotic that means these bacteria exist or they survive in a mutual relationship with some other organism right so what is symbiosis it is a mutual relationship between two organisms where both the organisms live together and get mutually benefited from each other so symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria similarly symbiotic nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria and finally loose association of nitrogen fixing bacteria so certain nitrogen fixing bacteria they have some loose association with some other organism that is they do not completely depend on that organism but they are kind of associated with that organism so these are the various categories of nitrogen fixers that we are going to discuss in this particular uh, topic so let us start with the free living nitrogen fixing bacteria. So here on the screen, we see names of certain free living nitrogen fixing bacteria. Now, it is very important to remember these names. Why? Because sometimes if it, in, now with regards to your neat preparation again, uh, sometimes it happens that you are given a name of a nitrogen fixing bacteria and you are asked what kind of bacteria is this if, if this is free living or this is symbiotic so you you need to know under which category it falls sometimes the question is which of the following is a free living nitrogen fixing bacteria so you might be given some four names of bacteria and you have to pick the one which is a free living nitrogen fixing bacteria so to answer such questions it is important that you remember the names of the free living nitrogen fixing bacteria so what are the names? They are Azotobacter, Bacillus polymyxa, Beijerinchia, Clostridium, Chromatium, Rhodopseudomonas, Rhodospirillum. Now I completely understand that it is very difficult to remember the names as it is. Like how do we memorize the names? But at the same time you need to remember them. So what do we do? We, we take help of the memory tip. So how do we prepare a memory tip? So let us prepare a memory tip for the names of these free living nitrogen fixing bacteria. So here is my memory tip. As baby clown cries, roadblock on road. So this is the statement that you need to remember. And look at the picture. The picture will help you to remember the memory tip. So the, there you see a baby clown and the baby clown is crying. Now because of the baby clown, clown crying and making huge noise, the road is blocked with the vehicles. Like the vehicles have stopped looking at the baby clown. Right? So something like that. So just imagine that scenario. So just kind of uh, put this picture in your mind. So if you remember the picture, you will kind of remember the uh, tip. So what's the tip? As baby clown cries, roadblock on road. Now, how do we remember the names using this? So as, as reminds you of azotobacter. So basically with as, you will remember azotobacter. With ba, you will remember the bacillus. 
with B. You will remember Bejerinkia. So the names are big, but yes, we will have to create uh, a mnemonic so that you know you kind of uh, remember the initials of the name. So you might remember the name Azotobacter, but you might you might forget when you think of the nitrogen fixing bacteria but with this tip you will remember what are the bacteria uh, that fall under this category with clown you would remember clau clostridium cry cro cro chromatium roadblock road is for rhodosudominus again road is for rhodospirillum so this is how you can remember all the names uh, which fall under the category of free living nitrogen fixing bacteria okay now let's see let's understand more detail about each of these so let us start with some of the bacteria now some of these bacteria are aerobic in nature whereas some others are anaerobic aerobic means those bacteria which need oxygen for their survival anaerobic means they do not need oxygen so from the bacteria which you see here bacillus polymyxa is an aerobic bacteria bejerinkia is also an aerobic bacteria whereas if you talk about clostridium clostridium is anaerobic that is it can survive without oxygen as well now if you talk about rhodosudominus or rhodospirillum so both both of these fall under the category of facultative anaerobes now what do we mean by facultative anaerobes facultative and aerobes now what does that mean that means that they undergo aerobic respiration when oxygen is present so if there is oxygen in the surroundings they undergo aerobic respiration but in absence of oxygen or when there is less oxygen at that time they are even capable of undergoing an aerobic respiration so basically these two bacteria they are capable of both aerobic as well as an aerobic respiration now what is the speciality of this bacteria chromatium so chromatium again has a speciality that this is capable of performing an oxygenic photosynthesis now you might ask what is an oxygenic photosynthesis now what is photosynthesis so photosynthesis is the process of food preparation by the plants in presence of sunlight wherein they utilize oxygen to prepare their food and release carbon dioxide as well so in for the for normally for the process of photosynthesis uh, plants need oxygen but these bacteria they have a speciality that they can perform photosynthesis without consuming oxygen oxygen that is why an oxygenic without oxygen photosynthesis so it is done by it, it, it this this capability is there in case of chromatium again if you talk about clostridium clostridium is again an anaerobic bacteria but at the same time it is photoautotrophic that is it is capable of preparing its own food in presence of light so they are photoautotrophic if you talk about rhodosudominus food preparation techniques of rhodosudomonas is also photoautotrophic that is this also can prepare its food on its own in presence of light so now these are some of the specialities of these free living nitrogen fixing bacteria now you might ask what are the advantages of these free living nitrogen fixing bacteria because we know that all of these bacteria what they do is they convert or they fix the atmospheric nitrogen into the soil so that the uh, nitrogen can be utilized by the plants for their growth and development now the question is how do they, how are these bacteria advantages so what are their advantages so first of all the first advantage is that they increase the crop yield because as i said just now that nitrogen is a macronutrient for the plants so if the plants get sufficient nitrogen then the plants grow properly and the crop yield increases so they help to increase the crop yield secondly they also save the cost of nitrogen fertilizers so what are they doing basically so basically in the presence of these microorganisms in the presence of these 
free living bacteria the soil is already getting enriched with nitrogen so we do not need to additionally put some chemical fertilizers which are rich in nitrogen so that way we are saving the soil from the chemical fertilizers and we are also saving the cost of the additional nitrogen fertilizers which we normally put so by you but with the help of these bacteria we can save somewhere up to 10 to 25 kg of nitrogen fertilizers for every hectare of land so these are the two major advantages of the nitrogen fixing bacteria now let us move on to the second category that is free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria so what are cyanobacteria as i said cyanobacteria are blue green algae and they are photosynthetic in nature that is they can also prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis so what are the names of free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria so let's quickly look at look at the names of the free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria and they are anebina cylindrospermum Stegonema nostoc olocera and tolipothrix again how do we remember the names now so the memory tips just help you with the initials of the name so that you know you kind of get a hint of the name which falls under this category and this memory tip is going to especially help you to answer the multiple choice questions which normally comes in your neat exam because when when you have multiple names and you have to choose the free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria so the memory tips might help you to remember which one falls under this category so here our memory tip would be anna's cylindrical stick in nasty auto so it's easy to remember looking at the picture so let's say that this little girl is anna and this is her cylindrical stick which you see inside this auto and this this stick was kind of stuck inside this nasty auto so you see the auto is not that uh, well maintained neat and clean so it's a nasty auto so anna cylindrical stick in nasty auto so here anna reminds you of anabina cylindrical reminds of cylindrospermum stick is stegonema nasty is nostoc o is olocera and to is tolipothrix so this is how you can remember the names of the cyanobacteria which falls under the category of free living nitrogen fixers now let us quickly learn a little bit more about each of these uh, cyanobacteria now there is a, in general also there is a speciality of cyanobacteria do you know what they not only add nitrogen to the soil they also add organic matter to the soil so basically they enrich the soil with organic matter plus extra nitrogen so that's the speciality of the cyanobacteria now out of these cyanobacteria which you see on the screen uh, this category olocera so one of the uh, cyanobacteria named olocera fertilizema this is the most active nitrogen fixer of rice fields in india so this is the most active nitrogen fixer of rice fields in india so in india wherever you have the rice fields these bacteria are purposely added to those fields because they very actively add atmospheric nitrogen into the soil like they fix the atmospheric nitrogen into the soil so therefore the rice fields are purposely enriched with uh, this olocera fertilizema so the name itself is fertilizema so it, it acts like a fertilizer now if you talk about this one cylindrospermum so there is a, a specific uh, cyanobacteria called cylindrospermum cylindrospermum lichenniform so this is cylindrospermum lichenniform and this generally grows in the sugarcane and maize fields so you get to see this bacteria in the sugarcane and maize fields so these are the free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria and again what are their advantages 
so they reduce the cost of fertilizers in fact they themselves act as low cost bio fertilizers now since they uh, enrich the soil with organic matter plus nitrogen so they themselves all of these they themselves act as low cost bio fertilizer Besides that, like as I said, that they not only add nitrogen to the soil, they also add organic matter. In fact, they also add uh, nutrients like phosphate and potassium also into the soil. So there are multiple advantages of this free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.